YouGo um, is a project supported by the European Commission by uh, the LLP uh, program, which is Lifelong Learning Program, uh, more concretely Grenvik, which is uh, adult learning and non-formal education. And uh, globally, it is a project about uh, exchanging tools and practices between different gardens in Europe in five different countries. There is Spain, Germany, uh, UK, France and Italy. And uh, the idea is to share tools that we use also uh, to work in the garden for social cohesion, active participation, citizenship, uh, intercultural dialogue, intergenerational dialogue, and to detect uh, how do the people learn, uh, have, get skills uh, through the work of the gardens. Uh, my name is Laura, and I'm uh, part of the community gardens of uh, Camasdeu for two years. And uh, I'm participating in with Yugo, uh, visiting um, uh, the allotments around Europe. I went to the trip to to the UK in June, June, July, yeah. And um, we stay there for three days, and we visit um, three very interesting projects. And uh, after that, now the, I'm organizing a little bit, I'm help, helping uh, Julie as well to, to organize the visit here in Camasdeo. This is a squat place, and we self-manage uh, all the things we do and all the resources. We have 30 plots with 80 people, and it's with different ages. We have a lot of old people and young people. We work and we decide what we want to do through an assembly. And we work in different commissions, like we have, for example, a commission of water, how to, which is very important in summer. Uh, we have another one for manure, and we have um, another one for the soil or the land, like how we uh, have a list of uh, people waiting, how we organize the, the plots, uh, and also the, uh, the last one, which is as well very interesting, is uh, conflicts how to resolve conflicts and we have to interact and sometimes there are conflict and we have to, to deal with them as well and we have created another commission about that. Yeah. The study visit in Barcelona happened in October. Uh, we had around 20 participants from the five countries and uh, during that four days visit we visited different gardens, for example, uh, communitarian gardens as Can Masdeu, and we also visited uh, gardens of Cardedeu, which is a city about 45 minutes from Barcelona, and there we had like two different gardens, uh, one working more with uh, courses, permaculture courses, and another one uh, doing like a productive garden and working with uh, consumption um, cooperative. Well, I'm Gisela, and together with my friend Mark, we cultivate a garden, a vegetable garden, here in Cardedeu. And the name of our garden, of our project, is Fenicurus, which is the name of a bird. Um, and we Cultivate. We 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 have a market garden, but we don't sell our vegetables in any shop or any market. In fact, we sell all our products to a consumers cooperative. Uh, Cardadeu Autosuficient is the name of this cooperative, and um, so we make basket or we make boxes for this people for these consumers and in this consu uh, consumers cooperative we are really involved because we are not only producers we are also consumers and then um, I went to Italy to Rome recently and visited quite a lot of projects there I think it was a very interesting experience not only about what for what I saw there but also because it was an exchange point with other people of different nationalities. We met there and we talked about our gardens, our experiences, and we learned a lot.
So we could see that they had a lot of um, a good philosophical base, which is good, because I think that they have future in front of them. But at the practical level, they were starting. Okay. But I had the impression that if we visit these projects, I don't know, in five years, they will be really interesting projects. During the stay, we also did some activities uh, to reflect and share of on good practices. And we also realized a tool fair where we could share also the tools, the practices, uh, meet with other people and uh, follow on thinking about what do we have to share. I'm Ilenia. I come from uh, Rome, Italy, uh, from Cemea del Mezzogiorno Association and I'm part of uh, this association. I'm part of the uh, staff of EUGO project. It was nice to see um, different uh, persons from different countries exchange with Italian gardeners and uh, it, it was uh, really, really interesting to see the Italian gardeners, how they host, uh, how they welcome uh, the European gardeners. And uh, they were really, really involved in the study visit and really, really happy to receive uh, this person and to exchange. The reality, is, the reality in Rome is quite similar uh, to the one of uh, Barcelona because also in Rome people uh, take the land without uh, permission because uh, it's difficult to find uh, an agreement with the municipality. In Rome and also, uh, as I can see, not, uh, always, not everywhere in Barcelona, but in some places it's difficult to have, uh, to have uh, help from uh, the public, uh, from the public institutions. Uh, it's true that this, this way brings uh, more motivation to the gardeners. So you can see that people, citizens, are really, are really taking care of uh, their city. But from the other way, it takes uh, a lot of frustration also because you, it's, it's always a fight against uh, an institution that should help you. The final product would be a web platform where we can find many information about gardeners, contacts, tools, links, everything, but also method sheets about the practices which have been implemented in another country how has it been experimented and some method sheets. For example, a new garden when to start. You can see that another garden experimented uh, a concrete practice about a table for disabled people. He can uh, learn about that and he can implement it in, in its garden. It's a good opportunity for uh, gardeners, urban gardeners, to, to see that uh, they are not alone uh, in, uh, in Europe to, to do, in doing uh, something uh, very, very old, but at the same time new, because agriculture is something uh, that uh, it's always existed. But doing agriculture in, uh, in a city is something really new, and it, uh, it brings uh, a lot of uh, new things uh, in your local realities.